Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie. And today, whether you're on winter break or you're bored on the weekend or you're just wanting to take a break from your work, I have compiled a list of 150 things that you can do with your free time. Some normal, some kind of random, easy, fun, and some slightly productive ones that you can do in there. I usually find myself wanting to spice up my recreational life and sometimes just take a break from being productive all the time. So today, I provided for you an all-encompassing, organized by category list of 150 things that you can do with your free time. Hopefully you can find at least one thing that you like in there. Feel free to skip around the video because I have organized it. And if you are looking for a recommendation, I would personally recommend random category, which is my personal favorite. And yeah, let's get into it. So forgive me here, I'm actually going to be referencing off the list that I made before on my computer. So because I'm probably not going to be able to memorize 150 things in time for the sake of posting this video. But anyways, let's start with the indoor category, which I think is kind of funny because most of this list is things that you can do at home, no cost, um, and indoors. You can make a Spotify playlist. You can read a self-help book. I recommend Flow, Atomic Habits, and How to Win Friends and Influence People if you're just getting started. Listen to five songs or music videos that you haven't seen before. You can learn how to wrap a gift if you suck at wrapping gifts like me. You can learn five new vocabulary. You can take a personality test and learn more about yourself. You can search up a topic and learn as much as you can about it. When I was in middle school, I learned all the types of pairs, which was an interesting choice in my life. You can read a genre you don't think that you like, see if you actually don't like it. There's a song with your eyes closed so you can get the full experience of the song. Try needle craft, that includes knitting, crocheting, embroidery. I tried all of those when I was in elementary school. They will take up your time, you will not be bored. If you're into dance, you can learn a new K-pop dance. You can also memorize the lyrics to your favorite song. You can also learn a language that you wanted to learn. You can have a photo shoot with yourself. Maybe you can learn how to take the perfect selfie. Learn how to French braid or Dutch braid. Try out digital drawing. I recommend Medibay, Ibis Paint, and Autodesk if you're looking for free apps that are good starters. You can also listen to a podcast because that involves no work on your part and all you have to do is listen. Experiment with the best nap time possible. I have not figured this out. I still don't know if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 5 minutes, an hour and a half, but you can find that out before me. If you don't read the news a lot, you can also catch up on current events. You can learn about bird types, rocks, um, plants, trees. You can also memorize important driving routes. Challenge yourself to journal out an entire page, especially after 2022 if you have not done a reflection. Part of free Coursera course, great teachers, great professors about business, all the academic subjects. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw languages. I took a course on happiness there. They have it all. You can fold a paper grain or do some origami. Watch a tutorial on something that you feel like you should know how to do, but you don't know how to do. Changing a tire, learning the buttons on your car, doing laundry if you don't know how to do laundry, fill up gas, etc. If you're a visual learner, maybe you want to try out making a vision board. Also watch a TED talk if you try a yoga video. Um, I would recommend Adrian's yoga because I remember in quarantine, when quarantine started, one of my teachers put it on a list of things to do. It's really fun, really easy. And learn your favorite rap and scare everyone away. Weather forgiving, you can take a walk outside somewhere new, you can get a houseplant, visit a nursery, or you can find some seeds from the grocery store you can plant your own. You can also go to a museum, visit a local college, a community college, high schools nearby, and also going back to my middle school and elementary school and like terrorizing the playground on when it was empty. You can also wake up early to watch the sunrise if you're into that, make a kite and fly it. You can play frisbee with a friend, you can go to a busy bridge that's really loud and no one can hear you, or you can go to a car and you can sing. You can pick a random book off the shelf at the library and just read it. You can also go to the library just to relax. You can try a new drink, go to a new restaurant in the area, scout the places out, and recommend something to your family or your friends. Collect flowers to press outside. I'm telling you, they last years. I have ones from first grade that still look like they did when they were in first grade. That stuff works. You can also go to the grocery store, buy your favorite fruit or favorite vegetable to cheer yourself up. You can also go down the, every aisle in the grocery store. Personally, I think grocery stores are really fun. You can also drive down a new highway that you've never been before, be safe, and also drive to a new place. You can also go hiking. Even if you're indoors, you can try getting 10K steps just for today. Just like pace around, get that exercise. And you like sprinting? You can just run as fast as you can. You will tie yourself out within like 30 seconds probably. Lastly, you can go on Google Maps and just find a place nearby that you've never seen or you've never been. 
Now for things that you can do with other people. So the social category. You can take pictures of your favorite people. I have a ton of pictures of my friends and my family on my phone. I think it's really fun. And these make for very good memories. You can find a volunteering opportunity nearby you. You can tutor a younger friend. You can help your parents clean something or ask your parents if there's anything that needs to be done. By babysitting or pet sitting. You can write a note for a teacher or adult who has helped you and you can actually give it to them. You can message a friend that you haven't talked to in a long time. Call your family. Um, your parents, your grandparents, your aunt, your uncle, if they don't live near you. You can give your neighbors a gift or have a conversation with your neighbors if you're out and about. Call your grandparents or talk to your grandparents. Yeah. Ask them about their lives because I'm sure there's stories that they have not told you. You can play Mad Libs with a friend. You can also call a friend and you can go bike together. You can just do something kind for a stranger or someone that you know. You can give them genuine compliments. You can let a busy person cut you in line. Everything's good. You can also look at old pictures with your family that are a puzzle to make with family or friends. Memories and plans. You can make a scrapbook of your memories. You can plan out your dream trip. You can start a lifelong bucket list or update it if you have one. Spice it up. You can also print out your favorite photos or will you watch a TV show that you really loved when you were a kid. You can plan places for future hangouts. So design your dream house. If you're into architecture, you can make a floor plan for it. I did that. You can make a gratitude list. You can look at your old yearbooks. Make room decor. You can also frame up your fav favorite pictures or your favorite artwork. Play an old game from your childhood. Cleaning and organization. If you are looking to get a hand on cleaning, cleaning will eat up your time and energy. So if you're feeling up to it, I compile a list of many small things that you can clean so you're not intimidated. You can change your phone password if you haven't changed your phone password in a long time. You can memorize important numbers that are good, like your credit card number, your ID number. You can memorize the subway map if you live near public transport, your, like your toothbrush, your toothbrush is updated, um, you're not running out of flaws. You can also check your computer or phone storage to make sure you're not about to run out. Organize your files by alphabetical, folder, color, throw away anything in your room that's broken because you definitely don't need those. Switch out your keychains. You can restock your school supplies. Organize your gift cards and coupons because free money is a good thing. You can clean out your phone contacts. You can archive old text conversations that you do not want to be looking at. Look at room decor inspiration on Pinterest. Delete five apps off your phone that you don't need. You can clean out every inbox and you can unsubscribe from all the emails so you can clean less next time. You can clean out your Instagram following. Clean the floor. What about the floor? Clean out the stuff under your bed. You can schedule your appointments, your dentist appointments, your doctor appointments, your eye appointments. You can make a list of health concerns for your next appointment visit. You can start a Notion page. Or if you already have Notion, you can make one new Notion page. You can reorganize your desk. You can learn one new stretch. I'm not sure why it's in this category. Clean out your toiletries. Throw away any like empty bottles or things that you don't use. Clean your shoes. You can change your jewelry if you wear jewelry. Organize everyone's birthdays. You can move fur furniture around in your room and in your house if you're looking for a fresh look. Clean out your closet. Change your username if you're looking for a new change there. You can wipe down all the appliances that you own or in the house. Clean out your photos. We have gotten to the list. That is my favorite, the random list. We can start by doing 10 jumping jacks. You can try writing in a new handwriting. You can make a wish list for yourself and you can narrow it down into a very practical shopping list. To satisfy your material urges. You can make all your clocks a bit earlier to see if you like it. I like my clocks to be set three to seven minutes earlier. Once I experimented with my clock being an hour and three minutes ahead, which really annoyed everyone around me, but it brings you so much happiness when you realize that you're not late for things, so. If you don't know how to split an apple, you can try splitting an apple. Don't judge me. You can name your future kids or your future pets. You can watch a hacks video. You can reorganize your Pinterest board or you can make a Pinterest board if you don't have one. You can memorize all the states. You can memorize all the state capitals. You can memorize major countries. You can memorize major cities in your country. Learn to massage your hands. Very useful. Cut your nails. Try a recipe that you've never tried. You can stay off your phone for three hours. You can see how many push-ups you can do in a row. Get ahead on making birthday gifts. Print a coloring sheet and you can just color. Or maybe you can just make your own printing coloring sheet. Or maybe you can just color on a piece of paper. You can reread a picture book. No shame. You can name your stuffed animals. You can learn how to juggle. You can learn calligraphy or faux calligraphy. Always impresses on the card making. You can make a high school, college, or just a lifetime capsule. You can try to get the splits. I did this in quarantine. This is funny because I failed every single flexibility test in high school and middle school, but I can do the splits. Follow a Bob Ross or a drawing tutorial. You can record your favorite things as of now, like your favorite foods, your favorite songs, that stuff, you will forget it. You can use a book spare notebook, start reading webtoons. And if you want to, you can even make your own. So film your own vlog, that takes a lot of time. 
and it's very fun. You could just do it for your own memories. No need to put it on YouTube. Learn a Carter magic trick. You can start a dream journal. You read up on how to lucid dream. You can change your daily routine really drastically if you want to have fun for a day. Um, or maybe you can change it long term, which is good too. You can also design your own character. You can also draw fan art of your favorite character. You can add a scarf. You can learn some jokes or pick up lines. I'm a bit, huge sucker for dad jokes and I have about 50 pick up lines memorized, which I think drives everyone around me crazy, but it will bring so much satisfaction to your life. The quality of your life will go up so much and you will laugh at yourself every day. You can change your hairstyle and try makeup. Finally, the last list on both the random list and for this video is to increase your spice tolerance for fun. Hope you enjoyed that normal and random list of 150 plus things. So leave below in the comments one thing that you're gonna try. If you like this video, definitely leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. So, yeah. Bye.